Alright, welcome back to my channel. I'm um, sorry this video is coming up a little late. Um, I meant to do it earlier, but, um, you know, life gets in the way. So, and I was off for four days, and, man, I really needed those four days off. Life has been, I don't even know. Alright, I've already washed, primed my face using the Professional from Benefit. This is my dampened um, Sephora Beauty Blender. I got few new things. I got Airspun Powder by Coty. I got a Wet n Wild Contour Stick, which I've never tried. I'm really excited to because I like creams, but I really need to make sure that, you know, they don't make me oily. And I finally got my hands on this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I got this in Peach Natural, which actually is a little dark for me, but the undertones in it match me. And at the very bottom, it says Peach Natural, and then it says Peach Natural in Spanish, I'm assuming. And then it says Light, Medium, Cool. So, I'm guessing those are the undertones in this, <clears throat> for this shade. But, um, they have quite a few shades. I was going to get Buff Bisque, but when I went back to get it, actually, the day I got this one, I was going to get Buff Bisque and this one. But Buff Bisque was, like, completely gone. And every time I've rechecked Walmart, it's been gone. <clears throat> oh, well. We make do with what we got. And I also got this. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Which, a lot of people say this is a dupe for Too Faced. I've actually never used Too Faced. Um, so, we shall see. I've actually used this before, and I really like it. But the only thing I don't like is the fact that it's waterproof. So, if you get it on your eyelid, you have to, like get a makeup remover wipe and kind of, you know, get a Q-tip wet with some makeup remover and just really be careful trying to get it off because you don't want to ruin the whole look. Anyways. Alright, let's get this video on the road, y'all. The only thing I... I don't mind the spatula, personally. I mean, my thing is, if your face is clean, I don't really understand how it's going to contaminate the whole bottle. I don't know. Some people like a pump. I don't really give a crap as long as I can get the foundation out because sometimes pumps do break and uh, I don't really care as long as I can get the damn thing out. As long as I can get foundation out to put it on my big old face, I don't care. And I'm just gonna, I've used this foundation plenty, um, but I've never done it on YouTube. So, and honestly, I think it's actually a really pretty foundation. This is one of those foundations I don't even have to sit with a powder and I'm an oily, oily girl. I don't have to set it with a powder. If I don't set it with a powder and I get hot and sweaty, it's still there. I can touch my face. It doesn't come off. Now, this foundation, I will admit, is a little too dark for me. But I honestly, in person, it doesn't even look that bad. And on camera, it's not even showing, like, how dark it really is. And I'll be bringing you in closer in just a few minutes. But, I mean, honestly, even though it's a little... I, it's not even, like, a bad dark. It's just... A hair darker than me. Like, than my actual face. I don't know, but it actually... When I rubbed it in on my hand, and... You know, that everybody has a different preference. They always say, oh, you're not supposed to match foundation to your hand. You're supposed to match it to your chest, to your neck, to this, to that. I don't know. I don't have time to be like, let me put this on my neck and see it in front of the store. I don't have time to do all that. I'm not doing that. I'm not about to get, like... Arrested, and you're not even supposed to be opening foundations in a store. But, guys, this is Wet n Wild from uh, Walmart. I can't be doing all that in Walmart, y'all. I ain't going to jail. Mm-mm, no ma'am. It has really... I This is like a lazy Monday for me. Like, I, I can't believe it's Monday. I mean, I was off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've never been off that long before in my life. I was kind of getting bored. So, I'm kind of excited to be going back to Walmart. I'm, to Walmart. <laughs> Y'all know where I'm going. To work. But, anyways. I meant to do this video a few days ago, but it didn't happen the way I wanted. You know, nothing ever happens the way you plan. What can you do? Roll with the punches, y'all. Roll with the punches. And if you don't want to put the spatula on your face, just dip the foundation in. Slap it on your beauty blender or on your brush, whichever. Hell, you can put it on the back of your hand if you want to. I don't like putting it on the back of my hand. I feel like I waste a lot of product, but that that's just my preference. You know, everybody applies foundation, you know, in a whole different way. Some people are like, oh my God, I hate a beauty blender. Mm, 
some people are like, no, I'm only, uh, I'm only a kabuki girl, and I will stay a kabuki girl. Some people like to do half with, um, a brush. Some people like to do half with a beauty blender, because all foundations are different, and sometimes they apply better with certain items, like, um, f for my preference, I honestly have never found a brush that I can actually say, oh my god, this is my die-hard core brush that applies my foundation perfectly because my skin is so sensitive and my thing is like, my skin is so oily and I honestly don't mind having oily skin. I don't. It doesn't bother me at all. But if I use a brush that has, like, synthetic hairs in it or something and the hair falls off of it, I can never get it off my face without fucking up my foundation, y'all. And I can't, I don't have time for that. So, I mean, and honestly, the Beauty Blender, if you clean them and take care of them the way that you're supposed to, there's really no problem. Sorry, there's not. Wash the damn things. Let them dry. Now... I've had this one for a good while, and if you look at it, yes, it's very dirty, but honestly, like, they say you can see black marks in it for mold and stuff. There's no mold on mine. I've had this forever. I get it wet every day. I use it every day on my face. I'm sorry. If it had mold on it, I think you would know. I mean, it doesn't even smell. Like, it doesn't stink like a, a spongy wash like dishes with, like after it's been wet and it's dried and it's mildewed and all that other stinky shit. It don't smell like that. No, ma'am. And honestly, if you don't want to, I'm just pouring the foundation out of this little bottle. And this is a fluid ounce, which is actually really nice. And this bottle is very like, you throw this at somebody, it could hurt them. Yes, boo, yes. I'm just going to put this on my neck. And honestly, <clears throat> excuse me, honestly, in my personal preference, I love, 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 love my Beauty Blender. Um, I think they do a wonderful job. They absorb any excess product, um, you know, and I feel like they just give you a really nice, pretty finish on your skin. Um, I do personally, but, you know, not everybody's the same. Some people can't stand a damn beauty blender. Some people want their kabuki brush. Um, hell, I remember when I first started wearing makeup, the first brush that I didn't even buy it, my mom gave it to me, was this right here. And it was like a flat spatula back brush. I call it flat spatula brush, but I know it's for foundation. Um, but I use this all the time. And honestly, it made me so streaky. My foundation would have brush strokes in it and everything. I'm not dissing the, the brush or anything, but I mean... For my skin, no. It did not work. For my mom, it worked. Um, unfortunately, this video is not a first impressions because I've used it. Some of the things I will be using are first impressions. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, actually, I've already used this sound. I've been using this foundation for the past, oh goodness. It's been a, maybe a week, two. I don't know. Terrible. Can't even remember. Oh, well, what can you do? Anyways, I highly recommend this foundation. I've never tested it with a flash. I don't really personally care, but I've seen people that have, and it looks wonderful, and I've never heard one bad thing about this foundation. So, I fully, like, support this foundation just because of an oily girl skin like mine. I believe it. Sorry. If you don't like it, that's fine. And this is called a Neutralizer through CoverGirl. And I'm just going to kind of use it as a concealer just to test it. I mean, it's really white. But at the same time, like, it doesn't even have a color. On the bottom of it, it says 730 Neutralizer. So, we're just going to kind of put a little here. Yeah. I'm thinking since it's a neutralizer, I'm thinking it's just like a neutral color. Maybe. I don't know. I've never used this before, but I swatched it on my hand and it was really pretty. So, um, 
I think it's actually really pretty. The color of it actually, it's not even white. It's just, um, very pretty colored. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. And kind of like bright, bright, wow, brightened up everything. I'm gonna pull you in close. So this is the face with all the foundation on it. And honestly, I don't know what the hell's going on right here. It actually looks a lot better right now than in, on this camera, but that's okay. You know, everything looks better in person. I don't really care. I'm, I look fine. Because I know if I get up and then go look in my bathroom, I'm going to be like, oh my god, I look fine. Which is normally where I do my makeup, but I don't know. I like making YouTube videos for people that are too afraid to. Because I know for a long time I used to be quiet and not say anything because I was so worried about what other people would think about my voice and stuff. And I just gave that up. Like, I don't care anymore. What you see is what you get. Don't like it? You don't have to watch my videos. I really don't care. You're not going to hurt me. Because not everybody's going to like you. Take it. Roll with the punches. Keep it going. I'm just putting shit in my makeup bag over here. Uh, uh. Um. I'm not going to contour today. I really don't want to. I'm not in the whole contouring mood. I'll do this. I'll contour tomorrow if I remember to make my video. If I remember to make my video, then I will contour for you tomorrow. Like and subscribe to my channel, please. Why not? You ain't got nothing else better to do. If you can watch YouTube channels, you YouTube videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Don't even tell me you can't. I'm right now getting into the airspun powder from Cody. Where the hell's the little... Oh, dear. Haha. -ha. This is actually, like, a really big-ass pan of powder. Ah! Mm. It smells really good, though. It doesn't stain. It smells really nice. And it comes with this big, fat puff. And I don't, I don't mind a puff, but I don't like them on my face. They, they shed too much for me. This is actually a really big ass pan. This is 2.3 ounces. And it actually says, featuring an exclusive microspun formula where loose powder particles are spun and swirled until they reach a cloud-like softness. This ultra smooth powder has tiny lines, wrinkles, and blemishes and gives a new softness to your skin. Used to set makeup or as a foundation, long-lasting dermatology tested. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. And this actually came in like three different shades. Um, and I, I, I don't know why, but I, I feel like the packaging is pumpkins. So I feel like that's heirloom pumpkins, which I think are the white ones. If I'm not, please link, like comment down below what the white pumpkins are. But I'm pretty sure these are heirloom pumpkins on this packaging. And I'm wondering if it's like got pumpkin in it or something, but it doesn't say on the ingredients. I don't know. Does anybody else know anything about this powder? If you do, please comment down below and let me know. Cause I would surely like I would surely like to know. Now let's get a little bit of this powder. Oh, it's pretty. They had three different shades, and I just kind of went with like the most translucent clear one. I'm just gonna kind of I'm putting this all over my face. I don't really Oh. That's pretty. Oh. It smells so good. I don't know. I personally like this smell. You know what it kind of reminds me of? And, well, it doesn't, it doesn't even remind me really. But, um, I don't know. I have, like, it brings back, um, a memory of, I used to use CoverGirl Clean Powder, the translucent setting powder. And, um... 
I remember in high school, like, I would be, like, obsessed with that powder. And I would put it all over my face just because it smelled like Noxzema. And it really did. And I love, I love the smell of Noxzema. Um. And, um. Excuse me. I need a little more for my forehead. Oh my, I spilled it all over my desk. That's okay. But um, now honestly, actually this powder goes a long way. Like, you just use the butt end of your damp beauty blender if you want to, or your brush, whatever. Um, and just start popping along. Um, I think this actually would be a really good powder to bake with. Um, I don't know, I really do. They had this in um, translucent, neutrally neutral, Neutrally neutral. Isn't that just cute? And then they had a darker looking one. And I'm just kind of putting this all around because I'm not going to bake. But I did set my under eyes with it. And close that back up. This is a really nice package. Like, I'm just, like, this bitch is fucking happy. Like, you could throw this and slap somebody and hit them with it and hurt them. Don't do that, people. That's what I do. I'm just joking. I could never hurt anybody. I might be a lot of talk, but I'm not a bitch. Sorry, I'm just wiping up the loose powder with this old makeup wipe I have over here. I don't know. Dry makeup wipes, for me, they work wonders. I'm just kind of, you know, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Bippity boppity boo. Mm, my lips are so dry. I have makeup on them. Ugh. Doesn't taste good. I'm actually not doing my lips on camera, but I am going to be using this Video Vixen through Wet n Wild. I have five of them. I stole this one from my mom. Um, I actually been working with this one last night and it fell on the floor. The best way for me to apply it was with this eye smudge brush. I like the doe foot applicator, but my lips are so small. I get the shit everywhere, and then I look like a fucking clown. And I'm sorry, I can't do all that. I don't have time to look like a clown and fix that. Because that shit dries fucking fast. So, it's pretty much you get it on right, or you don't get it on at all. I'll show you. The, the little doe foot applicator, this is out of a different one, which is Coral Corruption. I love this. This little doe foot applicator. It's beautiful and they work really nice. They hug your lips really well. For me? Oh god no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love all the other colors I have. But that one that's in the floor somewhere. I can't do it. I've tried three times with it. And I keep getting it everywhere. But hey, practice makes perfect. We'll get there, won't we? Anyways, um, I'm going to do my eyes real fast. And then I'm going to go clean them up. This is my Jeffree Star Crystal Ball Skin Frost. I'm just using the mirror because I don't know where mine is. I wish Pinterest would stop sending me shit. And I'm just kind of putting this on my eyelashes. The wand is like that. I do like the wand. Now, I will be the first to say that I do have nice, long, pretty lashes. They're just not very thick. Am I the only one that makes, like, a weird face and stops breathing for, like, a few seconds while you're doing your mascara? I don't know. I feel like I'm the only one that does that, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm just gonna... These are my eyes. The mascara is really pretty. It's very volumizing, very lengthening. As you can tell, it's on my eyelid like normal. One eye was one looking fine. The other one looks like a child did it, but what can you do? Foundation's very pretty. 
remind you this camera is not doing any justice for any of the things that you're seeing on this camera. That's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got plague. Alright, I'm gonna go clean up my eye and put on my lips and I'll be back to show you the final product.